They are the faces of another time, the people of a way of life that no longer exists. They are the Native Americans Lewis and Clark met on their legendary exploration of the then unknown American West, a people and culture from long ago, brought back to life by the talent of award-winning Western sculptor Richard Greaves. When I get to meet Lewis and Clark, am I going to give them a scolding? Why in the devil didn't they bring an artist with them? Greaves' home studio in Wyoming features a museum-quality gallery of dozens of his sculptures. You can take that date and go into the journals and you'll see where that piece came from. Inspired by the journey of Lewis and Clark, a subject the artist has focused on for years and first fell in love with growing up in St. Louis, where the expedition originated in 1804 and returned two and a half years later. I grew up right near the cultural center of St. Louis, which is in the center. It's an area called Forest Park. And that's where the museums are at. St. Louis is home to a museum dedicated to Lewis and Clark that was first known as the Jefferson Memorial. As a teenager, Grief spent so much time there, the institution gave him a job as a gopher. That meant that I had free reign of the museums with no supervision whatsoever. I could get into the archives and I, they even got uh, Clark's furniture there. I would sit in his chair and at his desk and I mean back then people, you didn't have to wear gloves to touch that stuff. And here's this kid, free reign in there, oh my God, I mean, and by the time I got 15, I was busting at the seams with all this knowledge of, about all of that and touching and everything. So that's what prompted me to want to come west. Long before, Greaves' artistic talent was clearly evident very early in life, and perhaps even sooner. I started that while I was waiting in line to be born. Uh, I think you inherit more than the color of your eyes. Raised in an artistic Irish-Italian family, with Venetian roots on his mother's side, Richard still owns some of the work he created when he was just five years old. So the theme is the same as today. Yeah. <laughs> I get a kick out of looking at him now. The same year he started helping his godfather repair the broken fingers of statues at the local church. When they found out I could build that stuff, oh man, I mean, I just, they put me right to work. An uncle who owned a marble shop gave him small blocks of the stone to work with, and another uncle gave Richard sculpting clay from the local brickyard where he operated the kiln. I'd take it home and sculpt things, I'd take it to my uncle, and he'd stick it in the corners in the kilns and fire it for me. So I'd just been working on stuff forever. Greaves never went to art school? Well, not self-taught, it's my tribal heritage. And never went to college. And my sister who came after me, said there were some drawings on my mother's womb. So how can you miss when you got that kind of good gene pool you're coming from? At 15, Richard went to a travel show in St. Louis, where at the Wyoming tourism booth, he met a Shoshone girl. The teenager invited him to visit her family's ranch on the Wind River Indian Reservation. I came up for the roundup, and that, they was to here to Fort Washington. So, I mean, that's it. Been here ever since. Yeah. Yeah. See, a, a sculptor is different than a, a painter. A painter uh, puts his image on an existing surface. A sculptor puts something in space that did not exist. So he, be, he has to be a builder. That's my inventory just piled up there. Greaves can build most anything. His unusual studio is a rambling set of connected rooms filled with all kinds of tools for woodworking and other projects, including the restoration of the 1968 Toyota Land Cruiser he drives to this day. I'm inflicted with a disease that I don't think anything can, anybody can do anything as well as I can, so I end up spinning my wheels a lot. Uh, Sometimes you're better off to hire an expert to do something. I stick with it till I try to get it right. It was all once home to a cafe, trading post, and butcher shop, businesses Richard ran for years after he first moved to Wyoming while working on his art late at night. Yeah, whenever it fit in, you know, I mean, 
I've, I've, I've been doing artwork forever. I just, forever, that's what I do. Victorian sculpture, Don Quixote. This Renaissance man is interested in virtually everything. I'm a bookaholic. As you can tell from his vast collection of books. Books are good friends. I mean, you can visit them whenever you want to. And every corner that you can store books in, I got them. There are collections of masks and old time saddles. At one time I had a complete collection of all of the military saddles from the Civil War to when they mustered out in 1942. A certified marksman and hunter, Greaves can tell you all about the Wyoming pronghorn, which is not an antelope. An antelope, to be a true antelope, they have to have solid hair. Our pronghorns have hollow hair. Richard also owns a collection of authentic Indian artifacts that he uses as models for his art. Are these real bear claws here? Yeah. There's another pile of books right there behind me. Well, it sure is. There is so much stuff to get interested in the world, isn't there? And just everything turned me on. What turns on the Western art world is his amazing talent. Greaves has won most every major award at the nation's top Western art shows. His sculptures are prized by collectors around the world, and his monumental sized works grace art museums and other institutions, along with his own garden and courtyard, like this gold medal winner, The Storyteller. I refer to them as the Bible stories, the tribal Bob stories. Featuring the very attentive children listening to his scary tales. He'd blow his flute. He said that's what brought the spirits in. They gave him the stories to tell to the kids. And he told all them kids, you got to get really close to me and hide your face in my blanket. And when you hear them spirits come, don't make any noise and keep hiding your face in the blanket because if you turn around to look at them spirits, they'll grab your head and put it on backwards. It's all inspired by Greaves' love of the West, its history, and his neighborhood. I just happen to live in the Rocky Mountains and, and among Indians, and that's the only subject matter I got, see, so. Now in his mid-80s, Richard doesn't even know how many sculptures he's created, but this happy and contented man who loves his work has no plans to retire. I've been really fortunate to be able to make a living in what I like doing. And uh, not many people get to do that. You know, not many people get to do that.